Okay, hello YouTube. Um, I'm quickly making this video because I decided to get a hair transplant in uh, Istanbul, Turkey. As you can see, I'm looking crazy at the moment. All this madness going on here. I'd normally obviously shave my head down, uh, but I've had to let it grow out to get ready to, well, just to show the clinic really what, what situ what's my situation. I mean, I haven't even seen my hair like this for many years because um, oh, fill you in on the story. When I was like 24, my hair began to thin, started in the corners, like this classic male pattern baldness. And over the years, it progressively got worse. And I think by the age of 26, when my son was born, I decided to uh, up to get um, uh, SMP done, um, which is like, if you don't know what SMP is, it's skull micro pigmentation, basically a tattoo on your head that gives the effect of a hair follicle um, and I was quite happy with that I'd come to the decision well not decision per se the acceptance that I was uh, that was it I was going to be a, a bold guy who rocks the shaven head and you know I was fine with that and then um, I started to you know as you do scroll through YouTube and I seen some guys going off to Ashley Tarkin uh, in Istanbul and opting to get a hair transplant and some of them were Norwood 5s, Norwood 6s, the same as me and the results they were getting were really good, they were um, you know uh, people complain about over harvesting or you know my donor area this and my donor area that but if you're a guy like me who's a, a Norwood 5 or a Norwood 6 you're not bothered about uh, over harvesting the donor area, you'd rather the hair here than just having that classic horseshoe on your head <laughs> uh, even talking about this I mean it's madness but again if it wasn't for guys who came before me on YouTube putting out content and showing their journeys I wouldn't be you know taking this trip now but uh, from what I've seen most of the guys who tend to go Ashley Tarkin tend to be um, African American black guys and uh, I might be the first Caucasian well I'm half Iranian technically I was born in Britain but my dad's from Iran, still lives in Iran, Tehran, and uh, you know, I thought I'd give this vlogging thing a go and try maybe it'll help somebody else after me uh, decide if they want to get get this done, but I'll do monthly updates on my channel and uh, yeah, follow me on my journey, I'll try vlog it. Okay, on the way to the airport now, uh, we're off on my journey to uh, get this done, the missus is dropping me at the airport. Wish me luck, guys. So we're in the building. I've landed. I am in Istanbul. This is the lovely hotel room Ashley Tarkin's put me up in. I've been to the shop already and I've got myself some uh, snacks. Have you ever seen bananas? They're small. They're tiny. But yeah, it's very, uh, products are very cheap at the moment. I don't know what it is for you Americans or, but for the Brits, one pound is equal to like 19 lira. So, I just went out to a restaurant, maybe I can insert some uh, pictures of what that food was like somewhere now or here in the corner. Yeah, it was nice and I think I paid 60 lira and uh, the guy, I, I tipped him 80 and he was like so happy you know, for this extra 20 lira. My sister's landing tomorrow because she thought oh, she wants to join me to be some moral support for this journey. Um, she's flying in tomorrow so we'll probably do a bit of sightseeing. I'm outside Ashley Tarkin. Sunday, I just thought I'd go for a little walk, check out the place. That's what the building looks like. This is where you'd be coming. So, yeah. I'll take a little wonder, maybe order it, get a taxi, see what we can do. 
give you an idea of where it is. Then you've got Starbucks right there for anyone who wants a coffee. Decent looking kebab house. And a shop. What more do you need? I'm going to head into Starbucks get a coffee. So, Istanbul, got myself a coffee. I managed to get a ticket. Catch the tram now. Into Central Square. And go to Grand Bazaar. So, so I'm trying to work out how to use the train line. I think there's a tram coming here now. And they run quite often. So it's a much cheaper option than getting a taxi. Plus with a taxi, you, you don't know what you're going to be paying. Here. This is what the tram looks like. figure out how to use the trams. Still got my coffee. Off we go. Um, see a bit of Istanbul before the dreaded up. I'm well out of my comfort zone now, but fuck it. We need to some ball, you know. Sorry. The day before the procedure, you know, I've got a lot going on in my head now. Just thinking, like, do I want to do this? Is it something that's going to leave me with long term scarring? You know, all them fears that most people have before going through like a major operation. But yeah, I'm just thinking. Got nothing to lose really when why not? Okay, I'm out and about walking around Istanbul. It's February. For anyone coming to get this up done in February, just be wary it's cold. I've got a jacket on, gloves on, and I still feel it. So be aware of that. Thank you, brother. See, there's a lot of stray dogs here.
Guys, if you're coming out here to get your hair done, go see the city. Istanbul is just madness. Such a vast history. It's changed hands constant, like, numerous times throughout history. So much to uh, take in and enjoy. Taking a little wonder, exploring the city. I think I'm actually on the European side, the Turkish side is on the other side of the bridge. I'd be enjoying it more if it weren't so cold. There, yeah. Oh, I can't really enjoy it when you know tomorrow I'm going to be getting carved up. Literally. Uh, needle injections to the back of the head and then all my follicles drilled out one by one and then stuck on top of my head. What am I doing? Am I insane? Are we all insane? Why would we even want to do this? Society making us act weird and do weird things in the name of social acceptance. I must be mad but you know it is what it is. fishing and then all the, all the fish that they catch from here probably end up straight in them restaurants but imagine everything that gets caught here is going to end up getting caught in there this one's still low So yeah, just trying to waste time until my sister gets here. We can catch up, maybe get something to eat. See what else to do. It's not so easy to talk to a camera while you've got strangers walking past you and you have to act like, you know, try and act normal. Even me, when I'm talking to the camera now, I feel cheese. But let's see if we can get used to this. Some of the sights you see walking around this temple. I find unusual. Why would you be advertising Sith cleaner on all of the uh, cabinets? It's uh, unusual. Is this some type of like we are cleaning our streets and we are COVID free? I don't know. I'm not sure. We're looking for coffee now on a mad hunt. You can see the sea. It's about to rain. Hello, brother. Welcome. Uh, no, thank you. Fresh fish. Fresh fish, look. So, yeah, tomorrow morning I got a nap and I'm going to. Uh, myself some coffee in the early night. No coffee tomorrow, I don't want heart palpitations. Oh, you should have gone in there. I'll have a look. So much colour. So me and Sarah have found this restaurant called Mom's Garden Kebab. <laughs> this is what we're having. Voila! Bon appetit! 
Yeah, man. That's wicked. Thank you so much. What are you from? Uh, Birmingham, UK. UK, Birmingham? Yes. Thank you so much. Cheers. I'm gonna go for this again. I like to. So apparently, it tasted like sweaty meat. It was sweaty meat. No, it was nice. It was just really oily, but I enjoyed it. Um, once a week would be okay. More than that, more than that would be too much. But it's good. We're gonna order now. This one and with the rice pudding. Basically, okay, rice pudding. Again. Yes, I loved it. And everything else looks a bit plain. Apart from the top one. What's that? Let's have a look. How do you look at yourself? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, on the way to the clinic, obviously I'm travelling in style, but looks a bit. <laughs> Wish me luck, don't I? If any of you have been watching on YouTube, you can. You've probably seen this van before. So you know where I'm at. Operation day. Morning. Morning. The dreaded walk. <laughs> Morning. I'm gonna go sit there. I just had meeting in the uh, office. With Yumi. So I'm looking forward to having head shaved and this lady here is just checking my pulse. Wish me luck. Good luck. We've gone from beard to Gozi. <laughs> <laughs> How do you think, guys? I think the go-to suits me. Me for the show now. I'm like a newborn baby about to be one. Nice warm water as well. It's not cold. <laughs> It's not very often as a grown man you have your head washed, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> feel like I'm five again. Oh, cold. Oh? Yeah, it's good though, it's wake I'm awake now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to have anesthesia. I'm getting the lidocaine injections. Anyone who knows knows what that's going to feel like. Yumi's with me. See me through the process. <laughs> you will see after the operation. Probably. My man, man. Would you like to see yourself? <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> Hello, guys. I'm being lidocaine injected. It's not so bad. Well, this kind of is. <laughs> I give it seven out of ten. Seven out of ten? It's not paper, man. I'm going to give you a thumbs up. What do I check where the gears are in the shop? Okay, got it. Thank you, thank you. That's my head. What did you say? Stay safe, cool. Just my head, just to see my head after. Yeah, yeah. Good, good Turkish. Yeah. Mm, that's the man. Thank you for the photographer. Which is not polite, is it? I'm being done by the artist right now. The main man, Fred himself. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, to find us. Uh, YouTube. So now I'm following and doing the same. Make another YouTube video, maybe it can help others. Yeah. Maybe somebody else wants to get this done. Come to Ashley Talker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm just waiting now for the second part, lidocaine injection. Feeling okay for all the guys on YouTube who said it was uh, impossible. I think it's, I give it a, a five out of 10, maybe. It wasn't that bad. I don't want to sound big headed, but it was not as bad as some of you were making out. <laughs> it would be better if we go to sleep. <laughs> I try. Look after me, yes, please. <laughs> Her name is Mujge. Mujge? Yes. Mujge. Müjde mi? Müjde. 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 I wonder what the equivalent is. I wonder if there's an English like equivalent name. Yeah, Müjde? Reyes. There is. There is, yeah? Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> we'll use Google later. Like a good news. Yeah. Müjde. Good news. Ah, that's a good meaning. I'm ready for pain, Müjde. I'm ready. There's not going to be a pain. Mm -hmm. We can handle it. Inshallah, yeah. Jalal, Evet, now start. Okay. She's the best. Thank you. Ask for her. I'm feeling okay. Perfect. I should be a camera man. You should be around the fashion. She says you have some quality graphs. I got the queen herself. Oh, I feel less special now. You feel it, ma? Alright, you How do you feel, Jay? Good, good. No pain. No pain at all? No pain at all. Transplant complete. Focus, yeah. Oh, man. I'm looking crazy out here. <laughs> Uh, it's the morning after and I'm about to head back to Ashley Tarkin to get the wash. As you can see I'm looking quite, well, it's not blood, it's like a antiseptic cream they put on your head but it's a weird orange red colour but the swelling is moving down my forehead now so I'll, by the following day I'll probably be looking like a meerkat but <laughs> I'll tune back in and show you. I'll try to get some footage today at the clinic. There's the main man. <laughs> yeah. So I'm here second day. They're really insisting on the uh, ozone therapy, but I did a little research. I'm not. I'm a bit skeptical about the ozone therapy, but I decided, you know, while I'm here, that they're offering 250 for teeth whitening. I thought, you know, I've come this far. I'm in Turkey. Why not? Let's do it. <laughs> so here's a view of inside the clinic. 
Ah. And this way I get the whitening. <laughs> Teeth before. <laughs> I just had my teeth whitened. I went from a, a number 3A to a 1 apparently. And now this is where I'm going to get my head washed and have the bandages removed. And I'm still with the main man. <laughs> and this is the lovely lady who's going to be helping me with my head. Okay. <laughs> said, slowly, slowly. Okay, sir. No problem. Do I do? No, no, no. no. Sorry, sorry. No problem, that's okay. She's very good. <laughs> She's done this many times. Sorry, sorry, okay, slowly, slowly. Finish. And here's the bad one now, the big one. Wow, here we go. It's gonna be painful. Slowly, slowly. No pain, no, no pain. pain. No, no pain, no gain. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> no pain, no gain, you heard it. So okay, now as the air hits my the back of my head, I can feel like no, almost no, I feel no, like no, a no, baby no. out of water. Come, sorry. Come, 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 head come, back. Come. Okay. She's very good at this. But yeah, as the oxygen hits my head from where the donor area is, I can really feel that you know, you can feel it. Even though you still have anesthesia, you can still feel. So, down. Down. Okay. okay, bye guys. Bye. Yeah, your boy is looking messed up, man. But yeah, um, hard parts out of the way. I just came for a wonder in the hotel. I managed to find this little abandoned, uh, I don't know, function room. Got a nice view of Istanbul. Maybe I could bring you guys with me. Here, it's in a flag that big. Turks are proud people. So overall experience with Ashley Tarkin, it's been a good one. They really do look after you, you know. We'll know within four or five months if I get the results. And if not, you know, I was, I was coming from a Norwood 6. But I was bold before anyway, bold for many years. I had the SMP done like I talked about. So it's a win-win for me either way really. Um, no, it's been a good experience, I'd say. And anyone who's thinking about pulling the trigger on doing it, just just do it, man. Just, you know, what have you got to lose if you're someone that's already lost your hair? And if not, it's, I've seen good results from some of the guys who, who haven't, who have got like a Norwood, say, Norwood 3, Norwood 4. Good lighting in this room, actually. You can really see the... Uh, they don't remove the scar tape, so my donor area obviously is looking bit sparse, a bit sparse, Either. but you know, if you're going to be realistic and you need 5,000, 5,500 grafts, you're going to expect, you know, to lose some hair at the back. I mean, what would you rather have a, like a super luscious donor area at the back with nothing up here? You're going to grow out the sides and have that classic horseshoe or look, what's the point? I mean, you might as well take all of it and stick it here and I could just skin the back, but obviously no one wants their donor area completely destroyed, but it seems to have paid off. While I was there, I did teeth whitening. I used to, uh, she, she showed me these colors of like, um, of the teeth of like, what mine were like a three, which is quite, you know, I regularly brush, but she, she mentioned I wasn't flossing in between the gaps. But, um, after the whitening, she, she did like a little drill, done a lot of work on it. And I was looking in the UK, that would set you back anywhere between 400 to 700 pounds. And uh, if they would do it, she was offering it for 250, Ashley Tarkin. So, why are you in Turkey having this done? Might as well get the old teeth done as well. Third day, it's chilling on the main high street. Here on the Central Street, three days after transplant, and I'm out here. Yeah, 
out here. My boy, give him a follow. Crispy. 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 <laughs> UK to USA, baby. We out here. <laughs> hey, man, we got the surf shorts. <laughs> Oh, you got McDonald's everywhere you go. You ain't escaping that shit. Hey, so. boss. Yo, they got Adidas. Yo. Oh, let's see what they got in there. Adidas store. So why not? I'm out here. Look, rocking this hair. This is no Fs given. <laughs> yeah, if you're comfortable, Oh, yeah, you got jerseys too. Malaba. Man's got soccer skills, let's see. Oh. <laughs> oh. Come on, let's see. The ball flat. The ball flat? Oh, you had the skills, Chubby. Yes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> One thing that's really funny here, you, you we're walking around with a hair transplant just done, and you'll see many other people doing the same thing. So it's it's not like an unusual thing to see. You'll see it on a daily basis. But to be fair, you feel weird doing it, but you just do it. Is this your Yeah. They're just hanging on the back. This taxi driver here. This is my boy. <laughs> Check, <Change, change. laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey yo, he's next. He's next to get his hair light. Yeah. We're gonna hook you up with that tip. Yeah. He's a good driver, funny guy. Yeah. We hook you up, man. We get you that hairline, don't worry. Surely women like men more. Oh, yes, he's oh, right. Oh, My brother here, he thinks nice. the women like a bald head. And he's probably correct, to what be fair. Have? You can rock a bald head, nothing wrong with it. But if you have some down there, there's also nothing wrong Shout with out, it. Shout out, Chick Nugga, 60. <laughs> this guy's gonna give us some good advice. We didn't find it here. What? Is that more here? More store? Uh, Bambi. Bambi? Bambi. Bambi. Bambi is good store. Bambi? Yeah. Bambi. Yeah. Bambi. yeah. And the bed. Bambi. Oh, there's more here? This side. Yeah. Bambi. Interview. What is your name? <laughs> what is your name? Ron. Ron. How yeah, are you? How you doing? Look at this man fit. But what are those? I'm kidding. You look fly. This is nice. <laughs> oh, look at his baddies. Say hi to the camera. Famous. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, yeah. Yo, let's go get the ice cream people. Get the ice cream? Oh yeah, yo, Skechers. Man, you gotta get the Skechers. We here at Skechers. Yep. Show, say hello. Kanye West. Yeah, yeah, Kanye West. Yeah, Kanye West. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Say hello. Say hello to no. the camera. West. No. Tupac. Tupac. Oh yeah. Tupac. 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 Kolibali. 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 Tupac. 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 Look at this shit, man. No fans, no shit. Ah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they look good, look comfortable. Yeah. How are you? I'm good, thank you. <laughs> no, no, I'm Mom, you get it, get it. I'll buy it for you. No, no, I Come just, on, I'll buy you. I can't eat. Okay, I'll, I'll have one. You gonna waste it? Let me record. Don't take it. Now you get it. Now you do it. Yes, please. I catch it. Hey, you got. Oh, you gotta get fast hands. You gotta get fast hands. What is this? What are those? Hey, man. Uh, this is a uh, Nike Air Forces. Uh, <laughs> what? It's 97. 97. Yeah. From, which one do you like? Uh, what you got? Vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, caramel, lemon, melon. It's vanilla, so you can't have vanilla. Mix. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Yes, please. How much is this? Well, 
What's this joint call? Ah, 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 he tried to feed. Ah, gay. Ah, got it. <gasps> Yo, you gonna let another man feed your ice cream and shit? What's wrong with you? God damn. No, 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 I'm full. This how much? Yo, you got too much, it's good. Yes, it's how much, Shani? Me? Yeah. Uh, dollars. Three thousand dollars. Yeah. Really? Yeah. But you have hair, it's good. Yes, me good. You don't need it. Yeah. Really? It's the main man for your ice cream. Three thousand dollars. Yeah. Really good. Yes, me good. For you, Shani. How does it taste? You want it, bro? Right? Uh, I don't even want it, I just bought it for the video. You want a Fouad Louis Vuitton uh, suitcase? Oh, shit, Louis. Louis B. Hey, yo, 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 I need to come for my bed. Malaba. Malaba. Come for your hair. This guy just had a hair transplant. Hey, he's got, hey, hey, he's got, got he's got, he's got a comb for his new hair. <laughs> my man, my man. But we're chilling, we're vibing, we're just checking out the city you can see it's quite busy. There's a Ray Ban store. They got a cat in here, you know. <laughs> I want to get this cat. Got the shades on, haters cannot see me. Got the shades on, haters cannot see me. Come on, whitey man. I'm whitey, whitey. Yeah, so we out here, as you see. Don't be worried if you come in Istanbul, man. You ain't got nothing to worry about. <laughs> Did you have this guy? I still pay $1,650. Yeah, $100 for that. Yeah, that's how much in Rebates in the States. Hell no, I yeah. paid for $400 for Rebates. Which was you pay? Yeah, I paid £200. £200. Pounds. Yeah. Pounds. Yeah. I paid for the bottom was $315. Yeah. 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 How they look like? Yo, that's the Mac Daddy there. That is some suave business. That is the Mac Daddy, bro. How much is the cat? And we're done. So we're gonna continue the little journey down the main high street. See what I've got. Let's 
keep looking. But yeah, let's go here. Look at this swelling. We can go. Let's go. It just keeps going and going. <laughs> that three point check time. Bro, this is like a cool nightlife. It's not like all drawing people and shit. No, they're chill. Drinking's not that popular here. I don't see many people drinking. Yeah, they don't. I don't think it's illegal. Still out here. Jay, Jay, swollen. I'm about to get mapped by a car. Oh, fuck, man. She loves me. Coffee and restaurant. Coffee and restaurant. Okay, it's my last day in Turkey. I'm about to leave. Um, obviously still a bit swollen, <laughs> but you know, it is what it is. Definitely say, you know, I'd recommend Ashley Tarkin as, a cl as the clinic, but you know, whether you're choosing that clinic in, in particular or, or any clinic, you know, in Turkey, you've done your research on, I'd recommend it. And you know, all in all, my experience has been good, and uh, I'm off now, Whew. back to the UK.